In this tutorial, you'll learn how to connect to an iSCSI target with MS Windows 7. Click the Start icon and enter iSCSI in Start Menu search box. Now, click iSCSI Initiator from the search result list. In the Target field, enter your DSS IP connection address. Now click Quick Connect to connect with the system. The target is discovered, but the connection is inactive because Initiator cannot log in. Click Done to close the Quick Connect window. Select the inactive target connection and click the Connect button. Check the Advanced checkbox in the Connect to Target window. Now, check the Enable CHAP Logon option to enable CHAP user authentication. Enter your username and password to connect with Target. Click OK to confirm your connection options. Close the Connect to Target window. Successful connection will appear on Discovered Targets list with connected status. Click the Start icon and enter Computer in the Start menu search box to search for Computer Management. Now, click the Computer Management from Search Result list. Select Disk Management from Left Navigation. System will detect new device as unknown disk with not initialized status and with an unallocated partition. Click OK to initialize the disk or select this option for device context menu if it does not show automatically. The new disk is now initialized and online. Select Unallocated Partition Context menu and select New Simple Volume to create new volume. Follow the New Simple Volume Wizard steps. System will confirm successful creating new partition. Now go to Computer. Enter your new disk displayed on Hard Disk Drives list. Open Folder Context menu and select New Text Document Option. if a new file will successfully create your disk is attached properly. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Visit our website to watch more videos.